And welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Knowledge. On today's episode, we need to talk about the Pokemon promo cards coming out in the General Mill serial on February 27th. And the boxes they're going to be released in are the Pokemon Berry Bolt serial. Some of these promo cards are already starting to trickle onto the market on eBay and stuff. And my guess is that people are not actually finding these cards in boxes yet, that they're most likely you know, just factory workers at General Mills that realized, hey, I could grab a stack of these and sell them on the secondary market and make an absolutely crazy amount of money. Obviously, I have no way to, you know, prove that either way, but I did go out to the store today because I knew I was making this video. And, you know, where I live in America, there's Pokemon cereal in every single store. So I actually went out I grabbed a box, I took a photo of it with me in the aisle. At the time that I took that photo, there were 16 boxes of cereal. And the 25th anniversary box is supposed to have like a special artwork on it, which was not on this box, but I figured, hey, let me go buy one. And so I bought it, I brought it home, I opened it, and I looked for a promo card in it, and they were not there. So obviously, I'm not able to get them near my house. And I tasted the cereal just to see what it tastes like. And it tastes like a combination of tricks and kicks cereal. And it's not great. And I'm really hoping that I'm not gonna have to buy a ton of cereal if these cards absolutely explode in price. And really the card in question that's gonna bring the most hype with it is the Pikachu promo. Now. I'm sure you guys have seen this Pikachu before because all it is is just the exact same card from the Pikachu promo that you got with the Darkness Ablaze uh, check lane blisters. It's the same exact card. Only difference is there's a 25th anniversary logo on it. And because that logo's there, this card is just going to explode in price. And again, this is for a product that comes free with a box of cereal that hasn't even got released yet. And it doesn't get released till about a month from making this video. And it's just scary. It's a special, de special delivery Pikachu all over again. And you know what? I took a lot of heat from some people because I said I think that the special delivery promo uh, from Pokemon Center is overpriced you know, for a free product that was very readily available, but who knows what's gonna happen with this. You know, for these promo cards to come in boxes of cereal is nothing new. We saw it in 2017, we saw it recently as of 2019, and I'll throw up photos of the hollows that are in this set. Uh, you have a Ponyta, a Morpeko, the Pikachu, which is gonna be the chase card, if if you want to call it that. Uh, there's the uh, Gospel Flower and the Snom. Now, none of those cards are very great, and the Pikachu is just going to command such a high dollar amount than everything else. And there's a bunch of non hollows too in the set, and I'm sure I'll throw up those too while I'm doing this video. You know, normally the world doesn't end for serial promo cards from General Mills products. You know, in 2019, the artwork we saw was way better. It was way more of the fan favorites. Yeah, there was still the Pikachu with the rainbow, which was a very nice looking card. You had a Charmander, Cubone, which is a huge fan favorite, Eevee, another huge fan favorite, and Bulbasaur, which was a huge fan favorite. Those hollows were way better than anything we're going to see this year in 2021. Yeah, there's going to be the Pikachu, and it's going to have a 25th anniversary stamp on it. But as for artwork on all these cards, 2019 was way better. But for whatever reason, because this is the market that we live in, and this is now became the new reality, these promo cards are going to start fetching money right away. And, you know, usually I would tell people don't buy these, but if you can just go to the store and pick up a box of cereal for your kids and potentially make tons of money, do it. You know, 
I wish I was making this these videos and I had this channel during the time of the Pokemon Center because I would have told everybody, go out, spend $20 at the Pokemon Center online and get a free special delivery Pikachu. Who knew that the price would actually go to what it's at? But it's 2021 slash, you know, 2020 just ended. The Pokemon market is not the same. It's totally different. It doesn't make any sense. And I already foresee the price of this card reaching unrealistic levels extremely quick. And if you're smart enough, you can get this card, you can get this card graded immediately. You know, as fast as your bulk turnaround is for like CGC and just rush these cards to market, people are going to be paying a premium for graded cards. And yeah, I don't know what the international cereal market's like. Yeah, I, that's just not my specialty is the international cereal market. So I'm not sure. Are, is General Mills cereal popular in other countries? I'm not sure. And I know I do have a few international listeners. So if you guys could write in the comments, like, do you have Pokemon cereal where you live? And if not, you know, that might actually become potentially one of my first giveaways, depending on how readily available the cereal is here. You know, maybe I'll send, you know, one of the three packs promos to one of my listeners. But there's a lot of stores by me that sell Pokemon cereal. And who knows, it's, it's just going to be a huge mad rush and the quote unquote scalpers are now going to be clearing out cereal aisles at, you know, Walmart and Target and, you know, all the local grocery stores around us. Who knows? Honestly, I'm afraid to make any kind of assumptions in this video because I don't know what this card is really going to do. Do you know how many boxes of cereal get sold in this country every day? And how much of this card is actually going to be hitting the market? But just like the special delivery Pikachu, right now, the way this crazy, crazy market is, it's going to somehow absorb these cards possibly. And I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just looking at this like the special delivery Pikachu. The only difference is the special delivery Pikachu was only really available for about a week at the Pokemon Center, where these promo cards are going to be available in serial for at least a few weeks and god there's going to be a lot of pokemon collectors out there getting you know nice case of diabetes over all this because you know a lot of people are going to go out and buy them because you know just think about it. if you could go out and get a three four dollar box of cereal and open it up and pull out one pikachu card that's going to pay for you know 20 boxes it's just it's a ridiculous thought right now and it doesn't make sense but we'll see what happens and you look at the prices from the 2019 promos which i said are all better artwork all better pokemon because yes they still had a pikachu with other starters those cards won't fetch as much just because the hype for those cards i don't know with the new market we have People are just going to be flocking to anything that is Pokemon and anything that has a 25th anniversary stamp on it is just instantly going to command a crazy dollar amount when that card is exactly the same as the promo you get with Darkness Ablaze check lane blisters. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but this market just is not making sense and I already see all this happening and you know for all the listeners out there go out and buy your kids pokemon cereal when these cards come out on the market now the release date is february 27th now do i think that we could potentially see these cards hit the market earlier yes because general mills is in the market to sell cereal they're not in the market to release pokemon cards so you might see them a few days earlier start hitting the market and if you guys are just looking for maybe an article on this, you know, I got a lot of this information from the Pokey Guardian. They released an article on January 15th, and I wasn't really going to make a video on this, but then I saw the prices that, you know, these cards are already fetching on eBay. So I said, you know what, let me make a video. Maybe there's a few of my listeners out there who aren't even aware that these cards are going to be in boxes of cereal. And maybe those same listeners weren't a bit, like aware of 
the special delivery Pikachu at the Pokemon Center. So I don't think I'm talking about the special delivery Pikachu and this promo card as being the same dollar amount, meaning they're equal to each other. The releases are going to be way different. The amount of supply for, you know, the serial promo is going to be way more. But all I'm trying to do is make the point that I don't think the prices will really be realistic. But that doesn't mean I don't think you should take advantage of these prices. You know, it's very easy to go out and buy a few boxes of cereal, especially if this special uh, promo Pikachu does have these high unrealistic dollar amounts I think we're going to see on the market. But anyways, guys, if you've made it this video, or if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.